Hi, I'm Mike from Hackaday, and I'm here at Bay Area Maker Faire with Federico Musto of Arduino. What kind of hardware are you showing off this year? Uh, Mike, first of all, uh, thanks to join us. It was a pleasure, and I'm very happy to, have, to, to be here with you. So, we just announced a couple of new boards. The first one that I have here in front of me is the Arduino Prim. That has a, a chip from a Nordic, the NRF52, has a BLE, low power BLE capabilities. We have a Wi Fi, we have NFC, and we have infrared. So we call it Arduino Prima. And if I remember correctly, I showed to my good friend Elliot this, uh, this, sum, uh, this, sum, this spring or something like that a couple of months ago in here. So we did this here. And the evolution of this board is uh, something that we call uh, Arduino Primo Core. That is just a little coins, but you can recognize here. Let me put this here. Uh, basically, I have uh, basically two layers. This is the NFC antenna, and here I have a small, little small stamp module with a chip from the Nordic, with uh, humidity, temperature, G sensor, direction sensor. That basically allow you to have uh, a product ready to go uh, in a very, very, very small form factor. But very interesting, you can build uh, in a daughter board like, like that. I'm sure you're familiar with a lily pad. Mm -hmm. So we build the Alice pad that basically is uh, a daughter board with uh, uh, some wearable you know, uh, yeah. features. And you can just stick uh, this module here and then you can solder uh, in a very easy way. So um, how did you decide to uh, use a circular form factor? Well, this is, you know, Arduino is really the, the, the designer. Mm -hmm. they, they tell us what they want. Okay. So it's, it's not really to belong to an electronic engineer or software engineer like me. I mean, they said we want circular. And when I ask, they said we love it. Okay. That's what we want. So I said, okay, let's do it. I believe one of the reasons was to do something uh, in a very small form factor, but in a wearable way. So we were trying to reuse the concept of the lily pad. Okay. I think that was one of the main reasons why they were really happy about to have this form factor. And so you mentioned the main uh, processor on this now is a Nordic semiconductor chip? Correct. On the Primo core, we have okay. the NRF52, that is the new chip that comes from Nordic. On the Primo, the developer board, we have a bunch of uh, uh, technology. We have, of course, the Primo uh, core, the NRF52. Then we have the ST microcontroller, allow the debugging and mm -hmm. some uh, additional functionality that allow me to switch on, switch off some power consumption. I have infrared and I have, of course, the 8266, that is the Wi Fi uh, okay. chip that allow me to connect this board to the Wi Fi for OTA, mainly for OTA, sure. right? So and, when you say debugging for this, what kind of debugging can you do? We are working on the software. I can announce that we are working with Platform IO. I, I don't know if you're familiar. So that will be probably the first open, completely open source project mm -hmm. where we'll have debugging function built in. So we use the ST microcontroller, our debug debugger, and the programmer chip mm -hmm. for the Nordic. Is that using an open standard like uh, Open OCD or Correct. something like that? That's what we use. Open so using Open OCD. Yes. Okay. And we have a dangle that we call Dog Leash. I'm sorry about the name. That's what is the nickname. <laughs> but basically, allow to really connect this board to the very, very well known open standard for debugging and programming. Okay. Um, as far as the Nordic chip that's on there goes, can you get a data sheet for that, or is that something that is... Uh, Absolutely. Okay. No, no, no. Ev you know, everything is open source, open address. So, okay. the reason we just announced it yesterday, mm -hmm. so we are working to post everything on our new website that okay. we just uh, uh, put online, I think, yesterday, if I remember sure. correctly. So, it will be a matter of a couple of days and everything will be okay, okay, great. The second board that we announced is basically a board with... Uh, is the first board in cooperation with ST microcontroller. Mm -hmm. So this board has a, a very, very powerful microcontroller from ST, has a Wi-Fi connectivity, again from 8266. But the very interesting part is the audio capabilities. Mm -hmm. We have a two microphone here that allow you to talk with the board okay. and basically ask the board to do whatever you want. In the way, that, of course, the software has the API and we interface this board with a Amazon Echo API, I'm sure that you are aware yeah. about that. The new uh, Google Home, all, all this new audio voice recognition that uh, has been just announced, uh, I would say, if I remember correctly, last week sure. in the Google Home. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have also a beautiful LCD 
where you can stick the board and then you have also the capability you know with your finger and we just uh, uh, well we just announced the collaboration with snap for Arduino mm -hmm. that is probably you know is one of the products we hired the one of the top developers so we are really working to have something very easy to use just with a finger this is a gorgeous looking screen do you know what the resolution is on it uh, I will be able to give you all this information that we basically sure. received yesterday <laughs> so I don't know the exact details about and then that. it's a capacitive touching it looks like cell phone grade screen it's, so it's come from the cell phone um, company yeah so we'll, we'll publish some, some of the I will specs definitely when we give you yep. all the information um, do you do you know when these will be available for purchase well my, you know what we do here we really make an announcement I mean what we love at the maker for some Mateo mm -hmm. It's just a place that allows us to be in touch with the people that buy our products and then we say, right, we want to do this and this. Tell me what you want. Sure. So the idea, the goal is to have this board in, to have this board ready for mass production end of June. Mm -hmm. We saw some bugs, so we're fixing because now we sent a couple of Android boards to developer Europe, United States, so they're coming back with some feedback. So we're going to fix that. And our idea is really to have the board available to our distributor something like middle of July just to give you an okay. idea. Okay. And do you have any pricing information? Well again this does depend about the version. Uh, the, the name of this board is Otto, the Otto. number eight. Okay. But we have also Ottino that means a small Otto that is a lighter version of the Otto okay. in the way that uh, uh, we're thinking to have this board around the 79, 80. You know, this should be the idea, but then the distributor, they do really what they want. Sure. But uh, the idea is to have one board with all the features that I mentioned to you, yeah. and another board that maybe don't have the video capabilities, mm -hmm. so we can keep, uh, thanks to the RAM, that we can keep out the price even low. Sure. So this is, uh, I will say the full version will be around 80, mm -hmm. and lighter version should be 69, something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, these boards are a lot more complicated than people are really used to um, yeah. with Arduino. So, uh, you know, with the, the huge processor, the speed, uh, the several different radios, um, you know, amazingly high resolution and, and, yeah. and touch screen. Who are you targeting with this hardware? Well, I think one of the goals that we have is really to try to simplify the complexity. So, I mean, with this board, really, the goal is to use your board. So, basically, it doesn't matter how complex is the board, if we'll be able to have everything in a very easy night framework, sure. where basically we talk. So, this is really always, uh, let's say, the future where Arduino work, is working for, at, at, at the age of the future, in the way that uh, we have some other capability, and now we need to work on the software to be able to mix the feature from the hardware to very easy way to interact with this hardware using our software. I mentioned about platform IO. We have other platter where we are working to, like a Snap for Arduino is sure. another one. So we really want to keep uh, as easy as we can the mm -hmm. complexity in the way that the, the designer, the student, they can use these features sure. with not any specific knowledge that usually belongs to the software or hardware engine. That's the goal. So I'd like to talk a little bit about your business. Are you yep. manufacturing most of this yourself? Yes. I mean, Arduino, we started, you probably know that, in 2004 mm -hmm. with a small labs in Strambino, that is a small town. Um, then right now we have a three production line in Italy where we produce 90%, 90% of our board in Italy. The rest, 10%, we produce in Taipei, Taiwan, mm -hmm. for the same reason why your phone comes from Shenzhen. Yeah. Like you, Tian. Uh, I mean, they have a capability, they have the knowledge, they have the chip there, so sometimes it's just easier to be there. Sure. And we have a production line in Taipei, Taiwan, where basically all these new prototypes come from. The Arduino 101 uh, uh, Industrial come from Taipei, the Tian, the new Tian come from Taipei. Mm -hmm. So we are trying interesting to have a bridge between Italy and Taiwan in sure. the way that uh, we try really to build the best in terms of technology, price, availability, and uh, quality. That's one of the key points. Do you have an idea of how, about how many employees you have at this oh, point? I know very well. Yeah. We started in 2014 with 12 people. Okay. Now we are 94. Wow. We have uh, mainly in Europe, when I say Europe, is uh, Strambino and, and Sicily. We have Spain, we have Switzerland. We have now Oslo. We open in Berlin, where we have wow. our first store. I remember I mentioned to Elliot. Uh, we have uh, in US we have uh, Boston and San Jose, and in Asia we have Taipei, Taiwan, 
Shenzhen and Shanghai. Sure. We are still a very small company, but uh, it's really interesting. You can see here where people from Taipei, from Germany, from Sicily. I consider Sicily another country, but it's another country. <laughs> and uh, Switzerland. So, so and, and I would say this is really a very, very interesting point in where we can mix uh, culture. Sure. Uh, that is really the, the most, I would say, funny part of this job. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be in touch with people from Norway, like uh, uh -huh. Nordic, and people from Sicily, I mean, a lot of fun. A yeah. lot of fun. So, that's where we are right now. So, uh, our community has definitely been following the, the trademark lawsuit that's oh, been going yeah. on with oh, Arduino. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Can you give us any kind of update about that? Is there any news? Okay, well, tell me. <laughs> First of all, I want to say sorry again, guys. I, I'm saying sorry because really, for me, um, Arduino is really you. So you guys pay my ticket to come here. You you pay my R and D to build what you're building, and uh, the Arduino, the idea of the Arduino Foundation, for example, is really to say thanks to this big effort that we come from from you guys. So we started. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, was a misunderstanding, let's say like that, between the two co-founders, Gianluca and Massimo. I, I'm not a co-founder, so you know, I just joined the company in 2014, and I was in the, really I was in the middle of this big fighting. Uh, we are trying. Uh, is when I say we are trying, some, I mean it's more than two years. We are trying to sure. see if there is any way. But the, I think one of the reasons why we was really not able at today to find a compromise is because I'm feeling that we want different things. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to now, you know, tell what Massimo want, what I want. It's not fair, it's not here, right? Sure. So, it's, But my impression is really we want different things. And, and uh, is the way that we want interact with our community mm -hmm. in the way that we are trying to say Arduino is really you, is not me. I will uh, keep keep working. Sure. Uh, I, I will. I will promise you. I will keep working. Sometimes we make a couple of steps in the right direction, and the day after we come back to the first point. Um, I will do my best. Okay. That's what I would have to say. Well, thank you. I appreciate you talking you. about that. You. Um, you know, one of the things I think has been the most powerful um, for Arduino through the years is the ability of really talented programmers to take take the uh, hardware and write great libraries for it that anybody can use. So um, what things on these boards do you think will be really interesting to those developers and how can they get into doing that? Well, you probably remember, okay, if, first of all, everything is open source, open artists, yep. everything will be available. But you probably remember a context that, uh, again, we spoke with Elliot about that. So let me say hello to Elliot because I say hello <laughs> all the time. So uh, the Arduino Uno Wi-Fi, you probably remember that. Yes. It was a contest, so we built the Absolutely. hardware and then the Arduino Foundation was sponsoring some help uh, to write a code. So we got in total a couple thousand contacts, but at the end we just choose uh, 150. Yeah. Uh, and on this 150, if I remember correctly, we choose uh, 50 yeah. to uh, as a scholarship. Yes, your part, your so basically, the goal is really the same. Well. With this hardware, we want to like, like empower the community. Yeah, really of course, we have a great collaboration with Nordic. We have a super great collaboration with ST. Sure. But we are really looking uh, to have some software yeah. developer that want to join us. And Arduino Foundation really want to pay. Okay, we are not in that. Okay, we cannot okay. pay. But nice. okay. we, so we basically in Arduino Uno Wi-Fi was three kind of scholarship. Was 10k, 4k, 1k. That depends about your effort that you want to put on these boards, and we would like to do exactly the same. So the goal is to have a scholarship for 100,000 US dollar, and uh, you know, and then divide the scholarship to the people sure. that uh, want to spend some time. Is again, it's just a way to say thank you to the people that spend so much time in the stuff that we do. Great. Well, thank you so much for speaking with thank us you. today, and uh, good luck pleasure. with your new products. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks a lot.